guys, your girl Keandra, and I'm back with another video. And this video is going to be a Taco Bell mukbang, and I'm going <laughs> and I'm going to be discussing. Well, I let Twitter pick it, but basically, why I'm not wiping material. So, if this is your first time to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, and yeah, like to keep up with me. So let me show you guys what I got really quick. So I love Taco Bell's nacho fries. I got two orders of them and they wasted in the bag. That's why it's not a lot in there. But I got some nacho fries. I always get their um, chicken mini shredded, shredded chicken mini quesadilla. Um, and then I got some nachos as well. And that's about it. Um, but yeah, um... So let's, I guess, get started. Oh, if you're worrying about my hair, um, I already have a video up on this hair. I actually reinstalled it a different way this time, which was way easier and took way less time um, than the video I have on my channel. But I didn't I didn't record a silent this time because I didn't know how it was going to turn out. And then y'all know I always wear this dress on my off days. This is my off day dress because I don't have to wear a bra. And... Don't worry about my, my room. I'm going to do a room tour soon. I'm just waiting to find a vanity. And then like my room will pretty much be complete. But yeah. So, back to the topic at hand. This is going to be why I'm not wifey material. Okay, so let's go back to my dating life and back like when I first started dating and talking to guys or whatever. So, in school, I was the dark skin friend or the ugly friend or whatever. And my best friends, one was mixed, the other one was light skin. And then I was in um, AP classes. So most of the time, I was the only black girl in my class, too. Now, I'm not saying that I was ugly because I was dark skin. That's just how other people think. Like, you know, like. I, I didn't think I was ugly because I was dark skinned, but other people called me ugly because I was dark skinned. Um, so, whenever I would talk to guys, it was like, because I had a, um, I was a cheerleader, I was a cheer captain, I had, you know, a butt, I had boobs, all that stuff. It's not that I wasn't ugly, it was just like, they would try to talk to my friends first, and if they couldn't talk to them, then they would try to talk to me, or vice versa. Or they would talk to me behind closed doors, and then go dead or go cuff a light skin chick and that honestly happened like all through college as well but in college like that's when i hate to say it but i feel like the whole dark skin thing like became a trend almost and it's so like yeah like your black is beautiful but the only dark skins y'all praise are the ones that are like half naked on social media um glazed up like a donut and kelly Rowland. That's like it. So, with that being said, like, not saying I didn't feel like I was good enough to cuff. I did feel like I was good enough to cuff. And the Keandra two years ago would not be making this video. But I'm older, I'm wiser now, and I'm kind of happy that I haven't found the person I'm supposed to marry because I probably wouldn't be here. So, with that being said, I would always talk to guys that either didn't like my friends. I had to make sure they did not like my friends or want my friends at all. And then I would talk to guys that were like way older than me that weren't even in high school. I remember when I say you're in high school, I was talking to like a 20 something year old. And my family knew and everything. But we would just talk. Like he would never cuff me. And I remember one time we were talking and he cuffed this girl who was light skinned who he knew I hated. Like, I hated her. And he brought her to church, and she sat right in front of me at church. Lord, I was a sinner that day. But anyway, so, with that being said, like, that's always the type of guys I've been dealing with. And so I was very insecure. So I got to college. I got involved on campus, a lot of events. I was kind of popular. And my confidence started to grow, you know? Like, I had no waist in college, y'all. Like, I was so skinny. Like, the bodies that people are paying for it now. Like, I had that in college, bro. And, um, so I was feeling myself. 
And I remember I talked to this guy, and I was all in his house, his friends with me, like he went to church with me. I did it up every day. And the whole time he was playing me, I had a whole girlfriend. And I had no clue. And I was talking about like the first like real heartbreak I had because I didn't understand how I was doing everything right and you still chose to play me or whatever. So after that, I was just like, you know what? Y'all need to know your words, blah, blah, blah. So I tried to quote unquote level up. And you know, I was just doing really good at school. It's time for me to graduate, graduate college, boom. Um, cause everyone's always expecting me to like be famous, be on TV or whatever. Um, I mean, that's the goal, but even if it doesn't happen, like, I think I'll be okay. Like the older I get, the more I'm like realizing that fame and fortune isn't everything. So there's a lot of people who are famous and rich who are very unhappy. So bring back to the guys I dated. Even the relationships that I had, they weren't the best relationships. Like, I've never had a relationship where I was with that guy and I saw him and talked to him all day, every day, 24-7. Like, even my last relationship where I was actually, like, in a relationship, it was still long distance. I saw him every, like, we talked every day, but I didn't see him. I only saw him, like, maybe every other weekend. He never said he loved me. We were together for, like, eight months. Never said he loved me. Um... And it was just like, it was just weird. But I honestly, like I hate to say it, like I don't even count it as a real relationship anymore because it wasn't. Like I was, I felt like I was more emotionally invested in it than he was. And he wasn't a bad guy. He treated me really, really well. But I think sometimes people like the idea of me, but then when they get with me, they realize it's a lot of work, I guess. And maybe, you know, I wasn't doing my part either, but I don't know. So... With that being said, I was like, why is, um, why I can't, can't I get it right with these guys? Like, I even tried to date, like, different guys, tried to date older guys, I tried to date younger guys, and they should just never work out, and I thought, you know, maybe it's me. So, went to church on Sunday, did not want to go to church, y'all, but I tell y'all, I was crying, but I did not want to get out of bed. Went to church, and the pastor, my pastor and his wife, they're both pastors. So his wife's doing this series on like the foundation and being, you know, the perfect woman, Proverbs 31 woman, all of that stuff. And so she was basically saying all the things that it takes to be a godly woman, a woman of God, and the perfect wife and all the other stuff. And honestly, I didn't match none of that stuff. Like honestly, I'm on my way to that stuff. And I think if I pre if I was presented with my future husband, I could prepare myself to be that. But right now, I'm living my best life. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, the guy that I've been talking to as of lately, I don't even know if I like him anymore. Like, I thought that at 25, I'd be trying to find my husband, but I'm really not. Like, I'm honestly, like... Just meeting people and oh you're cool we can hang out for a while until I get bored and I'm going to the next person and just because I'm 25 like I'm not obligated to try to find a husband right now anyway it'd be nice but whatever you know so um and I'm just thinking about like everything like if, my, if God brought me my husband right now today say me and him were to get married what I have with the job I have now, would I have enough money to support both of us if something happened with his job and he stopped working? No. I cannot support two people of being a gymnastics coach. I can support myself, barely, but I can. And then I was like, okay, so financially, I'm nowhere there. Mentally, am I really, like, over all the guys that hurt me in the past? No. Like, if I see the niggas right now, I probably, I probably wouldn't even talk to them. Like, I'm not over some guys that have hurt me in the past. So I don't think I'd be emotionally ready to, like, love like that for real again. Anyways. And thirdly, I've never had a boyfriend that I actually saw every day, all day. And I feel like if I did have that, I'd probably be pregnant. Like, I would never want to live with my, with my boyfriend. 
because there's no way like I'd probably be pregnant because like the opportunity is there and who's really like practicing like abstinence like that I've tried I like I really just how can I put this without sounding really bad I just don't I have not met a guy who is serious about God and who believes in waiting until marriage and who believes in you know that one girl is enough like I just don't I just haven't found it and it's like at this point I'm not really looking for it either because I have different guys that I take for different things I got a food nigga I got a conversation nigga I got you know like and I'm not gonna just cut all of them off just because I think I found the one like I feel like you when you find that that one you know like and I feel like guys know and girls we know too even though sometimes we exaggerate things but we know too so I mean I'm not tripping over being wifey right now I gotta get myself together so that if something were to happen I know that we would still be good and I think that's kind of where people especially women but we kind of lack because we expect our men to be providers, which they should be, but we go in looking for someone to take care of us instead of just knowing how to take care of ourselves and other people. Like, you know, like you can be independent all you want to, but when you go into a relationship, especially like these girls who are trying to find a baller or a rapper or whatever, have, if you think about it, it's very few people that we see couples like the basketball players, football players, the rappers, whatever, and their spouse or girlfriend, baby mama, are known for their own shit. Like nine times out of ten, they're known for being so and so's baby mama. I don't want to be that. Like I'm gonna make sure I have my own stuff together. That way, if me and you don't work out, I'm still good. Or I'm gonna stash the money away so if me and you don't work out, I'm still good. But anyway. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just think it's crazy because I thought that I'd be married with kids and all this stuff in my career at 25. And I feel like my life is just not getting started. Um, it kind of scares me having a kid now. Like I would never, maybe because I work with kids, it's just too much. Like, it's just too much. Like I feel like half the stuff that I'd probably be worried about, that most parents be worried about with a kid, like I'd laugh at. Like, you realize how much you have to censor? Like when you have a kid, you have to censor your music, the stuff you watch, stuff you eat. My kids would not eat Taco Bell, but then that would mean I have to stop eating Taco Bell. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I'm not ready for none of that. So, I'm content with not being wifey material right now. I think people should stop false claiming. If you can't take care of yourself, you're still living at home. I don't care if you got a kid or not, you're taking care of your kid, whatever. You gotta look at all angles of it. Read Proverbs 31. If you don't match up with none of that stuff, then you're not wifey material. I don't know what it is. And it's okay. Because none of these niggas are husband material either. If we're being honest. But I eat so ugly, you guys. I'm so sorry. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up because I'm just rambling, honestly. But if you have any topics or anything you want me to talk about or any videos you want to see, let me know. I don't like long videos, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Make sure you guys subscribe and like. This food is amazing, so I'm about to enjoy it and watch the Netflix movie by myself because I'm lonely. Just kidding. But I am. So, until next time. Bye, guys.